I'm Tracy Allen from Channel 17 News, and this is a breaking news bulletin. The world as we know it appears to be in chaos as numerous reports of zombies pour in from across the globe. Experts say that the virus is not airborne, so the only way to get infected is to be bitten. Once the virus you know, this is about the time place, everyone panics. But you know, there are actually a few easy tips you can follow that will help you survive the zombie apocalypse. appears to be infected. And remember, aim for the head. The first thing you need to know may sound like a tired old cliche, but it's very important. It's exercise. You see, zombies are walkers, not runners. But they're, they're dead, so they don't run out of breath. You just want to make sure that you're in tip-top shape so you don't end up somebody's supper. Now another thing to remember, whether you're working or playing, you never want to let your guard down. We've all heard it before. They just come out of nowhere, people say. Well, this is what I like to do. <clears throat> Mirrors, I have them everywhere. That way these nasty walkers can't sneak up on me. That brings me to my next point, weapons. You definitely need some firepower, but the sound of guns frightens my songbirds and shakes up the hummingbirds. Of course, some zombie experts recommend a baseball bat, but for me, there's nothing like a beloved garden spade. You see, it has a nice cutting edge and a broader sweet spot and longer length for greater protection. Of course, you're going to want to clean this up as soon as you can because you don't want to leave a mark on your lawn. Now this next tip is self-explanatory, or at least I hope so. You see, you have to have food and water, certainly, but you also have to protect it. That's why I use electric fencing. You know, electricity can be very effective, and you can pick up these electrical fence chargers at your local farm store. Hey, not only are you protecting your food and your water, but this can be a source of entertainment, hours of amusement. Ooh, good one. Now you might not think this last tip is important, but trust me on this one, it really is. You see, when the zombie body count begins to stack up, so does the aroma and the stench. So that's why I always plant plenty of fragrant flowers. You see, zombies are basically just rotting flesh, so they produce a lot of odor. To mask that odor and bring a nice fragrance to the house, try planting some of these beautiful flowers. They also look great around the house. Mmm, that's nice. You know, the best laid plans of mice and men often don't work out. So as the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.